This is like the Mac Daddy of all aisles. This is all the kind of stuff that I love. I just found my little, my little enclave here. Today, we're talking about one of my favorite topics, gluten-free. What is gluten? So gluten is a protein, and the reason why we love it so much is because it gives dough that airy kind of texture, and it gives a lot of the pastry goods we like that sticky kind of texture. Gluten is used as a stabilizing agent in a lot of the foods we love, things like salad dressings and mayonnaise. It's also in a lot of things like beauty products, packaged foods, and even medications. So one of the reasons why so many people have a problem with gluten is the way our body digests it. So let's talk about how your body actually digests gluten. We hear a lot about leaky gut. Well, one of the reasons why leaky gut occurs is because you put things in your body or you ingest things that your body does not agree with. And it's trying to figure out, well, what do I do with this stuff? What do I do with this food? And as it goes through your system, your body says, this does not belong here. All right, guys, put your suits on. We're going into war. We're going to attack this. And that whole, that whole system that happens, that whole war that's going on in your body, this is autoimmune issues. This is when we have autoimmune problems, Crohn's, colitis, irritable bowel. We have thyroid issues and even problems with weight. When you're eating things that your body can't digest or metabolize, so if you say, well, I eat this 12 grain bread, it hardly has any calories, it's really good for you, but can your body digest and metabolize this food? And that's, that's the issue with most people. People digest gluten in different ways. And for some, it's a more severe issue. And for their health, they have to stay off gluten. Other people just feel like, I feel better when I stay off of gluten, and that's fine too. Other people may have skin issues and they say, you know what, my skin looks a lot better when I don't have gluten. And for me personally, one of the reasons why I never have gluten is because it makes me really tired. I feel it right after I eat it. But for some people out there, you may be okay eating gluten. You have those enzymes, your body can actually break down that gluten and you don't feel a lot of the things that a lot of other people do. Even if you feel like you digest gluten okay, the truth of the matter is most people have some kind of sensitivity to gluten. When I used to test people in practice, I've tested a lot of people for food sensitivities. Gluten was one of the top hitters. It showed up a lot. So how do you know if gluten is the problem? Things happen like your belly pops out right after you eat. You have achy joints. You feel really, really tired. You may have skin issues, whether it be acne. Maybe you have psoriasis or eczema. But one of the biggest indicators is achy joints. So if you're one of those people that say, well, I don't have any of those kind of problems, but maybe you're one of those people that are having a hard time shifting their weight, your weight into the direction where you want it to go, or you're holding on to weight and you've been trying everything that you can, to lose a couple pounds. A lot of times I find when I put people on a more gluten-free diet that they tend to lose that weight much more rapidly because they're eating foods that their body is really digesting and metabolizing and they're putting the right raw material in their body for them. I wanna show you some of my top picks to set you up for a gluten-free lifestyle. Now, the cornerstone of gluten-free, just to be clear, is not about barcodes. It's not about package stuff. It's about sticking to what I've always said, which is meats, fish, poultry, the best quality meats as you can get, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, all of that. You want that to be the, the kind of the framework of your gluten-free. Everything else beyond that is kind of your fairy dust foods. But I'm gonna tell you today some of the things that are gonna make all of that taste so much better. And when you want a little something something, we got that too. And you can do it all grain free or gluten free. And you'll see how easy it is. Okay, potatoes. 
potatoes are actually love, but here's the key with potatoes. Are you eating potatoes because you need energy, because they're actually a great source of fuel, or are you overindulging in them? But if you use potatoes in the right way, I actually love sweet potatoes as a part of a gluten-free life to give me some energy. So sweet potatoes, I do a lot. <laughs> so sweet potatoes, I do a lot. My everyday kind of beet is I love berries. They have so many antioxidants, so many good things for your body. They just make you feel great. And these are my go-to. And by the way, if you want a really nice dessert, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a little tip. Coconut cream. Dip those in coconut cream or make some kind of coconut, there's coconut whipped creams now. <laughs> They're absolutely spectacular. You can find them in the frozen food uh, section in your refrigerator. But coconut cream with berries, mwah, yum. <clears throat> okay, so there's certain things that I get all the time. This is one of them. I always get tomato sauce. So if you have time to make tomato sauce, awesome, that's great, do that. My grandma would always make tomato sauce. We called it gravy. We loved it. We looked forward to it. It made the whole house smell, smell nice. But when you have a product like this that has so few ingredients and it's in a glass jar, so it's really pure, natural, and easy, this is just one of those easy things that you always want to keep in your house and it's completely gluten-free. Any kind of mayonnaise that you can get that's made with avocado. And you always have to look at the label, label still, but you want avocado oil. You don't want any seed oils in your condiments. Let me say that again. No seed oils in your condiment. Things like soybean oil, things like canola oil. These are very commonly found oils because they're less expensive for manufacturers to produce. So look for something that has a pure label. Avocado oil is what you want to look for. Here's what you need to know about olives. They're one of my favorite snacks of all time because they are filled with good fats. So we need those good fats because they help us with cravings and crashes and they do so many good things for our cells. But not only that, but they're considered an adaptogen. It's not to mention you can throw them in so many things and they taste good or just have them around the house to snack on. One of the things that I love is helping people get off a lot of the sodas and the colas that they're on, which are not good for you. And this is a good option. So these are there's a lot of sodas now that taste exactly like the soda that you're used to, but they're sweetened with some stevia and they don't have a lot of the other uh, chemicals or the, any food additives and so forth in them. So if you are one of those people that are still having soda that's not good for you, just so you know, there are plenty of options now readily available. So I'm going through the aisle where you find a lot of gluten-free because it's the things that people find most with most gluten, things like you know candies and cakes and crackers. Here's what you need to know. A lot of these are made with, instead of the wheat or wheat gluten, they're made with things like corn and potato starch and other things that are not good for you, particularly the corn. So you wanna make sure that whatever you're choosing is made from the right gluten-free type of flour. So some of the things I look for, I look for cassava, I look for coconut, I look for almond, which are some of the more common or a blend therein. So there are a lot of other gluten-free options and flours that are much more appealing to the body than things like corn and potato starch. If you have children and you want to feed your children something other than wheat, I know this can be difficult because there's definitely an issue with taste and texture when it comes to pasta. So rice can be okay for some. Rice can be gluten-free and okay for some. So this is my favorite brand for sure. It actually has a, a, a great texture to it. So I, as an Italian, I love my pasta al dente. This is a really nice way to get the pasta so it's not mushy. This does not come out mushy. Now there's a lot of grain-free pastas also. This is a good one. So this is made with cassava that I talked about earlier. And also, there's all kind of vegetables, you know, things like zucchini and things like squash spirals. If you're into that kind of thing, you can make them pretty easily. A lot of them even come prepackaged, and you can throw them, uh, throw them in some rau sauce over that, and you're good to go. I eat ice cream. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't like dairy. I don't like gluten. I don't like things that are gonna be sticky in my system and not feel good. So I love these new alternative ice creams. So let me tell you one that I like. I like so delicious. That's that's a good one. 
and you can even get some dark chocolate. And it's made with a lot of different things, like coconut milk for one. They're making them with macadamia, they're making them with almond. There's various choices. And this is one of my favorites. And you know, I'm not gonna live without chocolate in my life, are you? One of my favorite things that's completely gluten-free, and I have it in the morning a lot, it's kimchi. And the reason why I like kimchi is because it's one of the best ways to fertilize your gut. So it's a great way to start the day because you're really paying attention to gut health. But I have to put a disclaimer in there. You may clear out the house. <laughs> the smell is a little potent, but it also does really good things internally. So if you can handle the smell, this with some eggs and a little avocado is the absolute perfect breakfast. I love pizza. And of course, a lot of those pizzas, well, most pizzas, filled with gluten. But it's not about staying home and cooking all the time for all of us. We just need a break, and sometimes we just need things easy. So this is a great way to have an easy, gluten-free night that most people are really going to enjoy. So I love these frozen cauliflower pizzas. But now just make sure you look at the label, because sometimes they mix the cauliflower in with other things that maybe aren't gluten-free. So just read that label, but I love these cauliflower pizzas. One of my favorite things is cooking with coconut oil because you can cook things at a really high temperature and it doesn't break down that oil so the oil doesn't go rancid very easily. A good coconut oil in a glass jar and again, you can cook things at a high temperature, always gluten-free, love that. Condiments are a place where you will find gluten all over the place. There is a brand though that I love a primal kitchen that doesn't put any gluten in anything and all the ingredients are really clean. And this is why I always say, find a brand that you know, love and trust. So you don't have to worry about every little, uh, every little ingredient. Just find a philosophy or a brand that you know follows in the paradigm that you follow, particularly if you're gluten free. So I love all of these uh, alternatives that we have. And one of the things that I use all the time is I love coconut aminos. It's so good. Coconut aminos, it's like soy sauce without being soy sauce. So it's like you get all the taste and flavor of soy sauce without any of the garbage that you don't want. What do I mean by garbage? I don't like soy. And by the way, a lot of times that means gluten. So you don't want all the soy type of stuff. This is coconut instead, and you will not miss a thing. In fact, I know so many people who they go to restaurants and they bring it with them. It's that good. Okay, you love the taste of butter, but you can't have any of the dairy. I'm with you, I'm the same way. I love ghee because the milk proteins have been removed. So for those people who can't have dairy, this is a go. There's no, uh, there's no gluten in here whatsoever. And it makes food taste so good. It's got a really creamy, rich feel to it. So it's definitely a yes for me. I love these wraps. You can find them in the frozen section and they're so easy. You can put anything in these wraps. All you do is throw them in a skillet for a minute and then throw eggs in there for the, in the morning. You can throw some veggies in there for a quick wrap in the afternoon. You name it, it goes in here and it's delicious and it's grain free. So it's even a step further than gluten free. Love them. You'd be surprised to know that even drinks can have gluten in them. So you wanna be really careful. So just again, this is where you have to read the label and the best shortcut I can think of is brands that you know, love and trust. This is really important because it's gonna keep you in the paradigm you wanna be in so you don't have to stress out and freak out all the time. So just pick a brand that you know, love and trust and be careful of the label, look for things that don't look familiar to you and so just beware that even toothpaste, uh, you know, drinks. I could go on and on and on. The, the, the most craziest and odd things you'd never imagine can have gluten. Okay, I'm gonna introduce you to gold. If you don't know about cauliflower rice, it is the best thing. You can throw anything over this rice or put it in soups. It is absolutely fantastic. It's very easy and quick to make. It's already milled. Of course, you can take cauliflower and you can put it in the food processor and make it. It's absolutely gorgeous, but this is an easy way to get it done. They also have mashed potatoes that are made from cauliflower. I love that too. 
You can find this in your frozen, uh, frozen section. Have you used that before? I'm using the natural one, but I just, I will just use it now. Yeah. My, my girl said, can you buy cauliflower rice? There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>